a lot of Russians are sent to war in Ukraine, Putin has a new problem. The birth rate in Russia has continued to decline since the start of the full-scale war. In January to March 2024, the figure decreased by 3.5% compared to the same period last year. In addition, many people are fleeing abroad, according to the Wall Street Journal. According to Rostat, in the Belgorod region, which borders Ukraine, the drop was 10.2%. And in some other regions, as well as in occupied Crimea, the decline in the birth rate was also greater than the national average, the publication reports. Because of such indicators, demographers are sounding the alarm. One of the experts told the publication in a comment that in many Russian cities, the birth rate is decreasing precisely because of mobilization, because a lot of men are sent to war in Ukraine. The war unleashed by Russia also influenced the increase in emigrants. According to journalists, in 2020, the number of emigrants in Russia amounted to about 668,000, which is the highest figure since 1992. About 450,000 more Russians left the country in 2023. However, this is not the main reason for the demographic crisis in the aggressor country. Another threat to the lives of Russians is alcohol and drugs. Demographers are also concerned that the war could once again lead to an increase in so-called deaths of despair from alcohol-related diseases and other causes. Drinking and drugs have long been a problem in Russia, so they believe that it is more honorable to die in war than from alcoholism. The article says, The material notes that such demographic indicators lead to sad consequences because despite the million-strong population, the Russian dictator is catastrophically short of people for the war and workers for the enterprises where weapons and shells are produced. That is why Putin declared 2024 the year of the family and promises huge cash rewards for families with three or more children. Russia threatens strikes on French instructors in Ukraine, Paris promises response. Russia threatens that French instructors will become legitimate targets if they are sent to Ukraine. Such statements will not go unanswered, according to BFM TV. On June the 4th, the spokesman for the Russian embassy in France, Alexander Makogonov, made scandalous remarks about Paris. If you send your soldiers, your experts, your instructors to Ukrainian soil to teach Ukrainian soldiers how to better target and kill Russians, they will naturally become a legitimate target, Makogonov said. French response Christophe Lemoyne, the deputy spokesperson for the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, has already responded to these threats. These are outrageous statements that will not go unanswered, he promised. According to him, the response to Russia is still under discussion. Previously, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Alexander Sirsky, revealed plans for France to send military instructors to Ukraine. These instructors will train Ukrainian soldiers. In France, commenting on the Ukrainian general's statements, it was emphasized that the issue of sending instructors is still under discussion and a final decision has not yet been made. The New York Times reported that NATO allies are indeed discussing the deployment of troops to Ukraine. However, they intend to do this not for participation in combat operations, but for training Ukrainian defenders. According to journalists, Ukraine has asked Western allies to help train 150,000 soldiers. Officially, the United States has not supported this idea, but the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Charles Brown, considers this process inevitable. Brown stated that potentially deployed NATO instructors in Ukraine could be at risk, so to protect them, it would be necessary to use air defense systems that Ukraine could use near the battlefield. At the same time, the White House refuses to send even instructors to Ukraine and urges its NATO allies to follow suit. сказать товарищи пиздец полный у нас нефтик подорвали Bye.